Our next topic is RF propagation introduction. As wireless systems become more universal, an understanding of radio frequency RF propagation for the purpose of RF planning becomes increasingly important. Most wireless systems must propagate signals through the non-ideal environments. Thus, it is valuable to be able to provide meaningful characterization of the environmental effects on the signal propagation. While the basics of free space propagation are consistent for all frequencies, the nuances of real-world channels often show considerable sensitivity to frequency. The concerns and morals of propagation will therefore be heavily dependent upon the frequency in question. RF is an electromagnetic wave with a frequency between 1 MHz and 300 GHz. Common industry definition have RF ranging from 1 MHz to about 1 GHz, while the range from 1 to about 30 GHz is called microwaves and 30 to 300 GHz is the millimeter wave, MMW region. Our next topic is electromagnetic field. An electromagnetic field, also called EM field, is a classical, that is non-quantum, field produced by accelerating electric charges. It is the field described by classical electrodynamics and is the classical counterpart to the quantized electromagnetic field tensor in quantum electrodynamics. The electromagnetic field propagates at the speed of light. In fact, this field can be identified as light and interacts with changes and currents. Its quantum counterpart is one of the four fundamental forces of nature. The others are gravitation, weak interaction and strong interaction. The field can be viewed as the combination of an electric field and a magnetic field. The electric field is produced by stationary charges and the magnetic field by moving charges, that is currents. These two are often described as the sources of the field. The way in which charges and current interact with the electromagnetic field is described by the Maxwell's equation and the Lorentz force law. The force created by the electric field is much stronger than force created by the magnetic field. From the classical perspective in the history of electromagnetism, the electromagnetic field can be regarded as a smooth, continuous field propagated in a wave-like manner. By contrast, from the perspective of quantum field theory, this field is seen as quantized, meaning that the free quantum field, that is non-interacting field, can be expressed as the Fourier sum of creation and annihilation operations in energy momentum space while the effects of the interacting quantum field may be analyzed in perturbation theory via the S matrix with the aid of a whole host of mathematical technologies such as the Dyson series, Wick theorem, correlation functions, time evolution operations, Feynman diagrams, etc. Note that the quantized field is still spatial continuous, its energy states, however, are discrete. The field's energy states must not be confused with its energy values, which are continuous. The quantum field's creation operations create multiple discrete states of energy called photons. Our next topic is near and far field. The near field and far field are regions of the electromagnetic field EM, around an object such as a transmitting antenna or the result of radiation scattering of an object. Non-radiative near-field behaviors dominate close to the antenna or scattering object, while electromagnetic radiation far-field behaviors dominate at greater distances. Far-field E, that is electric, and B, that is magnetic field strength, decreases as the distance from the source increases, resulting in an inverse square law for the radiated power intensity of electromagnetic radiation. By contrast, near field E and B strength decreases more rapidly with distance. The radiative field decreases by the inverse distance squared, the reactive field by an inverse cubed law, resulting in a diminished power in the parts of the electric field and an inverse fourth power and sixth power, respectively. 
The rapid drop in power contained in the near field ensures that effects due to the near field essentially vanish a few wavelengths away from the radiating part of the antenna. Hope you understand what near and far field is. Meet you in the next topic. If you have any queries, please get in touch with us by typing your comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe to our videos. So what are you waiting for? Join us for the course and do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Also, if you like our videos, don't forget to hit the like button and share our videos.